For if the Gospels are the foundation of Christianity, and if in one of those Gospels it refers to Kabbalah as the body of wisdom that Jesus used, what this means is that the Gospels are giving us permission to study the same wisdom that Jesus knew so well. Hello everyone, my name is Shimon Klinger. This is Jesus His Soul. I'm so happy you're able to join our channel. In my last video, I made a very bold claim and provided no evidence to back it up. In that video, I made the claim that Jesus was a Kabbalist, that Jesus taught Kabbalah, and then provided no evidence. Well, in this video, I provide scriptural evidence that proves that Jesus was a Kabbalist and that this is backed in scripture. Welcome to the channel. I look forward to being able to bring this to you. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. We are trying to bring this information to as many people as we possibly can. It greatly helps if you are able to do that for us. The verse that I claim supports Jesus teaching Kabbalah is John 7.15. But before we get into that, we have to understand something. We have to understand that for thousands of years, the study of Kabbalah was hidden. It was esoteric. It was not available. And it has only been within the last 50 years or so that this wisdom is available to anyone who would like to access it. But before we get into even that, we have to understand the nature of Kabbalah. We have to understand that there are basically two fields of study within Kabbalah. The first one is known as the Sitre Torah. This is the hidden Torah. Now, this field of study, if you want to call that, is still only available to a very, very select few, basically the sages of our time. The Sitre Torah allows those who have access to it to harness the light force of God primarily through the Yudke Vavke, the name of God, and allows those people to do incredibly miraculous things. There are many stories of Kabbalists who were able in a second to snap their fingers and to translocate to anywhere they wanted to go. There are stories of Kabbalists throughout the ages who were able to raise the dead, who were able to fly, who were able to walk on water. And this can only occur through the study and practice of the Sitre Torah, the hidden studies. The Sitre Torah is still unavailable. It is still inaccessible. The only way to be able to, ex to get exposed to the Sitre Torah is if you are over 40, if you are incredibly well versed in all of the various, various stages of Torah, including Talmudic study. This is not the type of Kabbalah that is available to everyone, in fact. There's a second type, and that is the Talmud Torah. That is the taste of the Torah. Now this is available to everyone and has been given to the masses, and permission has been given to everyone to study the Talmud Torah, even children who are as young as six. The Talmud Torah was exposed to the world, was given to the world by the Rav and Karen Berg about 50 years ago they started. The Talmud Torah gives us the ability to answer some of life's basic questions. Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? What is my purpose? Why was I born into the family I was born into? Why, why do I have the gifts and challenges that I have? What am I here to do and what am I here to correct? These questions can be answered through the study of the Talmud Torah, through the study of Kabbalah. So, in all of the rest of the videos, I will be only referring and only talking about the Tame Torah because I do not have access to Sitre Torah. So this is all so important because without this understanding, it is impossible to truly understand John 7.15. So John 7.15 says this. Now, in the middle of the festival, Jesus went up in the temple and began teaching. The Jews were marveling and said, how did this one know letters without having studied? The key word here is letters. Now don't get me wrong, 
I am sure that your Bible might have this verse translated differently. In fact, when we look at all of the various different translations that exist about, you can see that it's translated slightly different in each one. NIV. How did this man get such learning without having been taught? New Living Translation. How does he so much, how does he know so much when he hasn't been trained? American, New American Standard Bible. How does, how has this man become learned not having been educated? The reason why this particular verse has been translated in so many ways is very simple. The translators simply did not have access to Kabbalah. You see, within Kabbalah, the power of the Hebrew letters is an absolutely central teaching. And without this knowledge, it doesn't make sense that Jesus would know letters. And so therefore, a different interpretation needed to be made in order for this verse to make sense. But with the new revelation of Kabbalah coming out of the shadows and now available to all of us, we can properly understand this verse. Jesus knew letters because he knew Kabbalah. And within Kabbalah, the power of the Hebrew letters is central. According to Kabbalah, the Hebrew letters are a channel they are a channel through which the light force of God can enter our world. This is actually hinted at the Hebrew name for letter. In Hebrew, a letter is called ot. But ot also doubles as the word channel. This is also one of the reasons why the scroll, the Torah, is so holy. It is because it is through the sequence of the Hebrew letters that the light force of God can enter our world and illuminate. According to master Kabbalist Rob Berg, who along with his wife Karen were responsible for taking Kabbalah from the inner circle of the scholars of Judaism and bringing it to the masses, in his book, The Energy of the Hebrew Letters, he writes, the early generations of the children of Israel commonly knew what today only a handful of people understand, the profound internal power of the 22 letters of the Hebrew Alf Aleph Bet. When we harness this powerful resource, we energize the principle of love thy neighbor, creating balance and health in our lives and in the lives of those who choose to acknowledge this energy. So this is not the time or place to go in deeply to this concept. But what is vital to know is that the letters themselves play a central role in Kabbalah. And it is through this knowledge that we can fully understand John 7.15. If Jesus knew letters, what the author of the gospel is referring to is that Jesus had a profound insight into this central concept. So with all of this, let's take a step back and think about the ramifications. For if the gospels are the foundation of Christianity, and if in one of those gospels it refers to Kabbalah, as the body of wisdom that Jesus used and Jesus knew. And if for the first time in history, the last 50 years, this wisdom is now available to all of us and to everyone, then certainly what this means is that the Gospels are giving us permission to study the same wisdom that Jesus knew so well. For the first time in history, all of us can access the wisdom of Kabbalah. All of us can access the same wisdom that Jesus used to do all of his miracles, to become the true channel of God that Jesus was. And for the first time, both Jew and Gentile alike have the ability to access this wisdom and to utilize it to make our lives better, and to bring the end of pain, suffering, and death, the end of our correction process. This is the power of Kabbalah. And this is what the Gospels are giving us permission 
to delve into. All of us have the ability now to access Kabbalah. Now, if you would like to look more deeply into this, we will spend a lot of time talking about the Gospel of John and the Kabbalistic secrets that are hidden in it. But if you would like to learn more deeply about Kabbalah, please check the description box. I will have all of the links there and you can begin your study of Kabbalah. And you could begin your study of the same wisdom that Jesus knew so well. So thank you everyone for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the no notification button. It really helps. We are trying to bring this information, this wisdom to as many people as we possibly can. Your help and participation greatly assists us in doing this. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all. Stay tuned for the next episode and we will go even deeper into the secrets during the gospel.